What is up y'all? We are hopping right into this video today. So right now we are outside of Academy Sports and Outdoors. I have a love for this store because we don't really have it up north where I'm from. So every time I get a chance to come into here, man, I, I, I really do like this store. Delaware and Academy, maybe y'all should get to talking. Today, we are gonna be on a mission. This is gonna be a really fun video to make, I think, and uh, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. So as I said, we're outside of Academy here. This is going to be a multi-store fishing challenge. So we're gonna be hitting up three separate stores and we're gonna be trying to buy fishing gear and then head out to the water and catch some fish on that gear. But here's the catch, man. The only fishing gear that we can buy has to be on clearance or on sale or it just has to be like the price marked down so we're balling on a budget i don't even know if all these stores have uh, a clearance section but we're gonna start off here and go in just kind of browse around again it's been forever since i've been in an academy so we're gonna see what they have fishing wise and uh hopefully they have a clearance section and hopefully you can get some good stuff catch some fish and have a great day it's like a really beautiful day out here in sunny florida it's not sunny though she's blowing out here today man it's pretty freaking windy one thing i do have to show you guys it's pretty exciting we have a window again and we've done a lot with the camping center back here we've done some upgrades we'll show you that in a future video super freaking excited for that though <sighs> florida smelling like palm trees and alligators all right let's get in the store here we just moved over got a little bit better of a parking spot let's get in the store see what the heck is going on all right, before we even get into this store, look at this. Clearance. Clearance. That is what we're looking for. Money move it, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the fun. Alright, so this store was like an hour away from where I was staying, and I had to go up I-4, which is like the worst road in all of Central Florida. But as you can see, like this place, it, it's a fishing paradise. Take a look here. If you've never been to an academy, I'd say it's comparable kind of to Dick's Sporting Goods, but the fishing section here just blows Dick's Sporting Goods out of the water. And some Dick's Sporting Goods, like they don't even have, like they got rid of the fishing stuff. So let me just bring you on a little tour super fast of this place. There's a lot of aisles. But we need to find the clearance stuff, but I, I just want to look around real quick. It's been a while. Oh, dude, I keep telling y'all, man, I, one day, We'll get a metal detector. Pirate Treasure First State's coming out. Basically, this looks like a bunch of salt water. Uh, we got some random sabiki rigs, stuff like that. This is just one of the aisles. We've got some gigs, some nets, some rods. This is like a little catfish, set. oh, pretty big catfish session. What the heck are these? Catfish chunk liver? Dude, I've never seen those gulp livers. It looks like those little, uh, what are those little hot dogs called in the packages? Little smokies. These look like some little smokies. What else we got here? Catfish chunk of blood. Have you guys ever used the gulp catfish stuff? I might have to try that for a video. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I've actually never used this stuff either. This is like the Axe body spray of uh, the fishing world. We've got Bang, Pure Crawl, Crappy Attractant, Crawfish, Shad. This is a very interesting, oh, and we got some panfish stuff. Let me know if you guys see anything interesting. It's going a little fast, but. That is, uh, and some panfish stuff. This right here is like the main hub. We got reels, reels, reels all around here. We got fish finders and stuff. Bait, bait, reels on reels, on rods, on rods. Dude, fishing line, rod, rods, 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 rods. Oh, look at this Strike King jig heads, $3.99. Like super, can you see that? Super shimmery, glittery. All right, we have found it the clearance aisle where there'd be fishing stuff last time they had all these fishing bins with clearance stuff um wait let's look at this bin anything in there hello hello oh here we go 1797 dude this music is bumping dang dude last time they had so much clearance fishing gear did i miss something wait <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. Okay. We found it. What am I what am I doing? Holy crap. Did you guys see that the first time I passed by? 97 cents? Is this all 97 cents? Let me see. 247. It's not in the right bin, just kinda like last time. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll leave it on the screen right here. We did an Academy clearance fishing challenge. There's a lot of stuff on clearance. It's 
gonna take me a second to go through all these, man. All right, let's just go through this together real quick. So this is fishing line, not all fishing line in it. We have some gulp paddle shad, morning glories. Nice, those are 347. We do have some fishing line in here. A little 50 yard pony spool, 10 pound fluorocarbon. What is this? Ooh, oh dude, these are my go-to. There's just so many bins here. Okay, what do we got in this one? Any gulp shrimp we'd probably pick up. These are new penny shad. Down south floors. I believe, let me know if I'm wrong, but 347 is pretty cheap for gulp. I don't know if this is going bad or why it's on clearance, but I feel like usually, oh, look, look at this, hold on. How much is this? $5? Wait, really, for some swimming molds? Wait a second, we might pick that up. I'll have to look on the internet real quick. These are the jig heads I've been using on the gulp too. One sixteenth ounce, one quarter ounce. Three ninety seven. I need to compare these to the actual prices. They got some good stuff here, dude. Let's go through one more real quick and then I'll go through, pick stuff out and show y'all what I found. We got a bunch more gulp. Oh, that's killer for Florida. The power worm, black and blue. What the heck are those colors? Twilight, the turds. All right. So uh, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna look through all these and we'll get back with uh, our findings here. We'll have to figure out what we're gonna grab. All right, y'all ready for this? We found a bunch of stuff here um, and it's all for pretty cheap-ish. So first of all, this big thing at Gulp, this is swimming mullet, chartreuse color, $4.97. I believe usually this is at least $9.99. So I think we might pick that up. I don't know if we're gonna use that today. I believe these are usually like four to five dollars. I use these a lot when we're doing saltwater fishing. We use that with the gulp. This is 247 for Bass Assassin's jig heads. These are usually, I said, like four or five dollars. This is 116 ounce, so we got some of those, and we've got some one eighth ounce, all 247, which is freaking that that's a, that's a deal right there. There is a Yozuri 3D minnow suspending. I believe this is Usually around like 10 bucks, it's $6.97. We'll put that back, I don't think we're gonna get that. There's also a Rebel Popper, right there, Magnum Pop R. That is $4.47. $3.47 for a Bomber Model A crankbait. And uh, we have, this is like the Florida Special right here. Mirror Lure, it's only $5.97 for this pretty decent size one. I was thinking about getting it, that looks pretty sick, dude, I don't know. And there's some Fat Boys I wanted to show y'all here. It's kind of similar to that, I think. But these are only four forty-seven. Here is like this is what's crazy, all right? So we have three different packs of Z-Man TRDs. These are TRD ticklers. Two forty-seven, two forty-seven, two forty-seven. Less than three dollars. Now there is tax in Florida. These are usually four bucks. This is the color I usually buy too. The Canada Crawl. Usually four bucks, so it's like half off. And I believe these are five bucks or four bucks. Either way, that's like half off as well. So we're probably picking up all of these. And then there was some. Neds from Yum as well. You can't really see too good. This is a watermelon color, and then this is a uh, black and blue color. You can't really see past that clearance thing, but I never used a Yum Ned. Do they float like the Z Men's do? Dude, 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 holy freaking crap. I don't know why I don't just always do this. That is crazy. So I got the receipt, and when she was skinning it up, I was like, what the heck? So each one of these. Right here, it said it was $2.47. Each one was $1.22. $1.22 for four jig heads. What? Let me see if you can see this receipt. Okay, so the 116 downs were a little bit more for some reason. But all the other ones, look at this. They were a dollar. 22 cents. The TRD, the ticklers, $1.22. That whole thing in gulp, $2.47. This whole freaking thing of look at this. This was two dollars and forty-seven cents. If you guys know gulp, this crap is expensive, dude. That is such a good deal. And on it, it said four ninety-seven. So it's literally two forty-seven. This gets me so excited, dude. Saving money. I mean, how many times have you guys seen me throw the freaking Ned rig? If you're an OG on the channel, the Ned is. I mean, the, the TRD crawl, the turd. It, it's just a freaking fire lore for all different times of the year. The Canada crawl is my favorite color. Again, dude, that was. Where is it? All right, there it is again. So we got two at 247 each. So that came out to 244 total because it's like half off of what they already had it marked. This is like the best day ever. 
So the total here came out to $12.67 freaking cents. If we bought all that at full price, that, that would have cost a lot of money. It says your total savings $12. So I guess it would have been 24 if it wasn't additionally half off as well. I guess I didn't read the sign in there. Dang, dude, I feel like I should go back. That's crazy. All right, all right. On to the next place we go. I don't know if anywhere will be as crazy as that, but we'll, we'll see. And I'm going to show you guys the best place to go to find ultimately the best fishing deals possible. And then later we're going to catch a 10 pounder. All right. This is a far drive to this one. On to the next freaking tackle shop. Whew. All right. Second store of the day. Good old Dick's Sporting Goods. Now, as I kind of said earlier, Dick's Sporting Goods. Compared to the Academy, it doesn't always have the greatest fishing section, but here in Florida, fishing is pretty big. You never freak it out, dude. Let's get into this one. Let's see what the freak they got in there. And uh, yeah, man, I don't know if you can see. Look at these palm trees. It is windy. You probably can't even tell. All right, let's get in here. Whoosh. It has been a while since we got into stores doing these types of videos. If you guys do enjoy it, please make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. It's a nice football. Let's see what we're working with here. All right, that's pretty good. They have fishing stuff, so I mean, that's a thing. I just don't know if they're gonna have, like, look at this. This is not clearance. I feel like if they're gonna have clearance or discounted stuff, it's gonna be in Something like this, I feel like I've seen it in dicks before. Holy crap. That's a big bladed jig, dude. Can you guys see how big that is? Oh, we found it. This, I think, is the clearance rack right here. So, as you can see, we got original price and uh, got the clearance price. So, this was $9.99, so 10 bucks is 8 bucks here. Huh. Dude, I didn't even think they had one of these here. All right, so let's just get through it real quick. We have some bobbers. Line. Um, wacky jig, TRD bugs, bro. I don't know if this is supposed to be here. Gator truck. This is literally, I think, a hook to catch an alligator or to snag an alligator. Oh, over here we got some turds. I don't know if it doesn't say that they're discounted though. These are discounted, but these are like knockoff turds. Originally five bucks, they're for three something. Hmm. Oh, the beaver. Originally 16, 1247 here. I don't, I don't know about the beaver. We got a, uh, is that right? No, that's not the same. It's kind of mixed up a little bit. <laughs> if you guys want some stickers, oh, we got some discounted stickers. All right, I guess only select things really are discounted. You gotta look at the sticker. So we got some Procure. Dill pickle bomb something. I think it's yeah. I think it's just that rack. So I'm looking for stickers over here. Look at the big, the big yum wall, dude. That is freaking obnoxious. Can you see how freaking that is crazy looking? I don't know if the camera's picking it up. All right, yeah, no, yeah. So I guess only what's over here. Hmm. You know what's crazy? This beaver. Is the same price we got all those other lures from, from Academy. And it's a freaking beaver. This is interesting. Wrap V, 797. I feel like it's between this or the chatter. What do y'all think? Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. This is very interesting looking. We'll show you guys later, but it's like a, kind of like a blade bait and a crank bait. It says maximum versatility. All right, I think this is what we're gonna get from here. Then we're gonna be on to the next store. All right, I'm surprised they actually had a uh, discount section there. I feel like I've never really seen that before. And the lore we got was pretty kind of expensive-ish. I've never really seen it before though, so. It's pretty interesting and I kind of wanted to use it. We'll see how that goes, but that was kind of expensive. It was like eight something, which is almost the same price as we paid for all the other lures, but we got a really good deal on that. It's hard to compare. I am freaking starving though. Let me show you something really cool here about Florida.
Uh, Michael Batashi. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a great day. You too. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, that's pretty 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 cool. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, all right? By the way, this is not sponsored by Chipotle, maybe one day, but I just spent all my money there. It's literally fishing and food, Chipotle. But um, if you guys can guess, like whoever gets the closest to you guessing my Chipotle order, I will send you out this right here. This is a brand new Mock Smash MHS 300 fishing reel. Let me just show you real quick. Brand new in the box. This thing is freaking sweet. Yeah, man, whoever can guess closest to my order that I get at Chipotle. Test your luck down in the comments below. This is kind of nice because I feel like we saved some money. So now we could afford the day to, you know, just a little burrito stuff. All right, I'm gonna eat this and we're gonna get to the next door. Ooh. All right, we have made it to the last door. Good old Wally world. The place that never is not packed. Holy crap, there's so many people. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's get in here, see if we can find any fishing gear for the low low. Let's go. It has been forever since I have been in a freaking Walmart. Ooh, all right. It's so cool to me how like in different parts of the country, you know, depending on where you are, they'll have different baits. Like in uh, Colorado, they had all trout stuff. There's a lot of bass stuff here. I don't know if I see any discount this stuff. Sometimes I've seen like the clearance stuff on some of these like, bottom bin things. Okay, so a little tip. If there's no clearance stuff in the fishing section, Walmart actually has like a clearance section that's around this corner right here. I just saw it's packed. Let's take a look. That aisle was packed. So they had a few reels and a few hooks. Nothing that really like stood out to me. So, uh, yeah, man. It's cool that they do have some fishing stuff in there. I, that was really cool when I saw it. Holy crap, the things you see in Walmart. Eee, I was in the self-checkout and there were three things to self-checkout and two of them, like so many people had stuff in their cart. So it was like, it was gonna take them forever. And the one guy was done, but he was like an old guy. And I, I swear, I felt like I was in a movie. Like he was using cash to put in the machines and like he would take one bill out at a time and he was trying to put it in a thing. Oh man, that took a while. Honestly though, that is really cool. I told you I did not know how I expected this video to go. I cannot believe that at all three stores there was clearance fishing gear. I feel like in Delaware, I never see clearance fishing stuff. So it's really cool to see that here in Florida. And uh, yeah, man, we're gonna get back to my part of town that I'm staying at. We're gonna go hit up some water, see what we can freaking do. We're gonna bust these clearance floors out and hopefully catch some big clearance bass. Let's get over there. This is the story about good solid cheap fishing deals and also redemption. So we're back out here at a pond I came to a couple of videos ago. We did not have the best of luck here. Now it was like big cold spell and it was, it's just, it was freezing in Florida basically for a couple days. And uh, that's kind of why I think the fishing wasn't as good here. It has been in the forties the past couple nights, but I don't think that's too bad. It's been kind of warmish. So we're coming back. And we're gonna try to use these discounted lures to catch some freaking big fish. So I think first of all, let me see here. We, we, we got to, right? These were, I, I can't believe these are like a dollar a pack. We got the ticklers and the crawls. I, got, I gotta go with the OG, man. It's been forever since I've actually came to a pond and fished the Finesse TRD Canada Crawl. We're gonna break out one of these and I just wonder if I could see, like why are these so cheap on sale? So that is all we're really gonna use right there. Super simple. This floats, the jig head sinks and it kind of bounces around and looks like a bunch of different stuff. Nobody really knows what the turd looks like, but the fish like it or they hate it. Either way, they usually strike it. That's the goal anyway. All right, so let's get over here. 
I feel like at this place, there's like a nice little pile of structure over here and then over there where some fish were hanging out last time. But also it's been a little bit, a few weeks actually, and the pond, or not the pond, the lake we were at, the bass were on beds. Oh, I see, this looks like a little bed right here actually. The only thing about Florida, oh gosh, I literally just spooled this reel up. That'll happen sometimes right when you spool it up. I was gonna say though, that the thing about Florida is that like this bed could literally be anything. Like I have no clue what kind of fish's bed this is. <laughs> All right, let's go over this way. Whoa, big freaking sandhill crane just flew over my head. Sorry, it's like Jurassic Park out here, dude. All right, do your thing, Ned Rig. Bring us to the promised land. Right around this area, dude, this is like the hot spot, I believe. Come on, fish. Just a little exploring here. Please definitely let me know how the fishing has been for y'all recently, man. Dude, this, literally this fluorocarbon I put on here is so old. Ooh, that's a big bed right there. Is there anything on that? I don't see any bass on it. See, the thing is, like, as I told you guys kind of before, this is my first year, like, bed fishing, kind of-ish. If that's what you consider this, sort of. I've been doing it a lot on my kayak on the lake, but it's, like, it's crazy how up to nature and the weather and the moon phases and everything the bass on the beds are. Like, it's some real science crap, you know? <laughs> All right, on this side of the pond, at this pond, we gotta be on high alert. This is the only place I've really seen alligators around here at these ponds. It's, it's been on this side of this pond. It's a huge bed right here that I'm in. But uh, yeah, I guess they walk from that way into here and then, I don't know, there's cows and stuff on the other side too. I wonder if they like chomp on them. It is windy, I'll tell you that. This is like a huge, deep little hole bed thing I'm fishing right here. Oh my gosh. I literally had to follow. Dang it. Come back for it, you won't. I gotta bite, I gotta bite. There we go. <laughs> Is that the one that followed me, dude? Okay, oh no, oh, no, 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 Excuse me, sir. You are the first fish of the day. We gotta at least get a look at you. All right, well, <laughs> first one of the day on the Nedry. I mean, this thing is literally like half the size of them. One day could be Big Bertha. Thank you for buying, buddy. Oh, man. Okay. That might have honestly been the one that followed us. Let's see if there's any more right around here. Very interesting. Dude, I knew, I saw one flash a little bit ago. They might just be stacked right out there. Now, here's the thing, too. I've caught some decent sized fish, like pretty big fish out of this place. And I've seen pictures of people catching, like, actually big fish out of here. But sometimes, man. When you pull up one like that, you just gotta be thankful that, I guess, anything bit, right? And he didn't have to bite. <laughs> this is where we found some fish last time as well. This is like a nice little piece of structure hiding out. Come on. Come on, there's gotta be a fish hiding out around here, right? Oh, oh, that's a nice, decent one. I didn't even reel him up. Dude, that's better than the first one. That's like twice as big already. Oh my gosh, he literally ran with that thing too. Jeez, man. Freaking kamikaze that thing. All right, on the net we get again. Second fish of the day. Well, now we're doing way better than the first time. All right, look at that. That's a beauty. Second fish of the freaking day. Literally, if not three times bigger than the first one. 
Thank you, buddy. Whew. That's a good feel, Dad. All right. I knew, dude. I told, I knew there had to be something in there. Again, on the OG Ned rig. Let's, I just, let's try to get one more fish on, and then we'll switch up. Maybe we'll throw a tickler on or something else that we caught, or bought, caught. <laughs> that was cool. All right, one more cast over here, and we'll go to the other side of it. Whew, okay, man. If you guys do enjoy these challenge kind of videos, let me know. I haven't done them in a while, but it feels so good. Like, it's so fun to come out here and do these challenges and go to the stores and... I have a lot of challenges written down. Like I have so many ideas, but I feel like I've just been immersed in the fishing and especially the truck camping stuff. I really want to get heavy into that and uh, really start uploading a lot more of those because you guys seem to really like that video. And I've not felt closer to nature, I swear, than that truck camping video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it is on the channel. Make sure you go check it out. We have some really cool stuff planned for that. And as I said, in these next couple of videos, you guys will see some upgrades we've done. And we finally, I, dude, it feels so good to have a window back there, man. Whew. This little quarter looks good too. I'm just gonna come up here real quick. So look at this, man. The sun hasn't been super shining today. We got like a little peeking through right there. We got the nice cloudy action in the Florida sky. This is the pond we're fishing at. It's It's been really nice, dude. I've been having so much fun bass fishing recently. Like I get into these waves where like, I, I really want to saltwater fish, I really want to bass fish. I've been having so much fun bass fishing. Learning a lot of new stuff. Do I have a fish? No. I feel like I just got bit there. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more saltwater stuff very soon too. Come on. Oh, there's one. Yo. <laughs> okay. Did this fish already spawn or something? What the heck? I'm. I'll take it. Third fish of the day. Right in the top of the mouth there. I had a feeling I was going to get smoked there too. Well, not a skunk. A fish is a fish, as I always say. I'll take it. All right, you know what? We're going to swap it real quick. I forgot. I almost kept fishing with that. Where is it? All right. The crazy thing is this Ned Rig's still good too. We'll save that for later. Hate taking off a bait that's working, but this possibly could work even better. So this is uh, that's what we're working with right there, the tickler, the turd tickler. All right, here we go. So this is the second pot here. Now I've caught fish out of both these ponds, pretty decent sized ones, but this pond I remember back in the day, a couple years ago, I caught a pretty freaking big honker. We just gotta try to figure them out here. A little bit. I'm gonna just kind of cast around these grass piles, see if they're here. See if we can see some beds. If not, cast across the structure, cast out deep. This is the mission. Oh god, I just saw one. Oh, he came off, but I got him. I flung him on the shore. Oh gosh, he was between my shoes. Hello? That was so cool. Bro, can I just pick you up? Please? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Quick release. Literally, he darted out of that grass patch and smoked the freaking tickler, dude. Come on, man. It feels good, too, to, like, do some land short fishing, bank fishing for bass. I uh, I was taking the kayak out. If you guys watched from the past couple of videos, a lot. And it's a lot of fun, but this is, just, this is the roots, you know? This is the OG vibes. Budget challenge or just any kind of fishing challenge from the shore. It's just fun, man. You know, I challenge y'all too. Post a video and tag me in it. If you go to some stores looking for some budget gear, some clearance stuff, try to do this challenge for yourselves. Let me know how you guys do. Post a video of it. Or uh, if you guys have Instagram, hit me with a follow. If you guys go to any stores with some nice deals, let me know also in the comments below, man. If you guys have ever found like some noteworthy good steals. As far as fishing goes, here she is, Rapala RVB6, maximum versatility. So as I was kind of saying, it, it looks like a crankbait, like a lipless. Actually, let me read. Versatile blade, reverse instant vibration. So you can tie it two positions. Oh, techniques for both open water and ice fishing. Huh. 
Interesting. So they sell this in Florida. Must be for the ice fishing, right? <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so bad. Dude, this line I have on is so bad. If you guys are wondering though, this is a lose mock smash combo. Just like that reel I'm gonna be giving away to one of y'all, hopefully. If one of y'all gets it right. I guess the closest person that gets it right, I'll give it. But uh yeah, that's a lose mock smash reel. I love this setup. I just need to change the line on here. I literally just put this line on, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's super old fluorocarbon that just like, it should not be on a reel. Oh, it sounds so bad. <laughs> it's not the reel, dude. It's literally the line. Oh, dude. Appreciate you guys coming on this adventure too, man. Again, if you guys do enjoy these videos, let me know. And if you do enjoy the videos, but you're not yet already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that not notification bell. So you never miss an upload. YouTube's weird nowadays and really the only way to, you know, stay up to date and actually see the videos is if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So if you want to hit that and uh, I got a fish. I had a fish. <laughs> what? It literally, oh gosh. Why? Was this front one always two? That's interesting. Dang it, dude. Got one to eat it. That's a good sign, right? This is the windblown bank. We get a few more casts over here, I guess. But uh, yeah, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Hey, please keep throwing suggestions my way as well, uh, as far as Central Florida fishing goes, as well as just anywhere in Florida. If you guys want to fish with me, hit me up on the email. If you've seen the videos, y'all know the drill. Oh, dude, I think I just got hit. Or is that a plant? Had to be a plant, right? Yeah. Appreciate all y'all sending me recommendations, places to fish and stuff. I, I, I've got so much stuff I want to do. <laughs> so little time. There's something. There's one. There's one. On the rattle. The whatever the frick it's called. That's not a big one either. Oh, dude, please don't. Like a fish out of water, huh? <laughs> All right. There we go. Bit the rapala. Thank you, buddy. I'm definitely not. Dude, the one we hooked earlier was bigger than that, but... I will take it. <laughs> I like this lore, dude. There he is. That's better. That's better. Better, better, a little bit maybe. Kinda, ish. Hello? Maybe not. We snagged him. <laughs> oh no, he's got the one in his mouth. Oh, he's better. Dude, this is killing it right now. Dude, that's not a bad one. Smoking it on this freaking lure, dude. Holy. <laughs> yeah, now it's super giant. Oh, man. Whew. Whew. I am tired. It's been a day. Oh, that's pretty much going to be here for this video today. We caught some fish. All of the lures, too. Pretty much all the lures. We didn't use the gulp here, but we're going to be using that in some saltwater stuff. So you guys will see that in the future videos. Um, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some trout, maybe some flounder, maybe some redfish, maybe some snook or something. Again, man, I appreciate the heck out of all y'all for all the freaking support. All I got to say, man. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.